this channel is for adults and not for kids. Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. So tonight I wanted to show you guys something cool that came in. This beautiful biomechanical looking bug monster in front of you is Common Rider Black Sun. This is the one sixth scaled jumbo soft vinyl action figure. Um, he just came in today. He's very cool. Let's show him off to you guys. Let's start with the box if any of you care about that. Shows his uh, points of articulation, which is his neck, uh, both shoulders, and his waist. Um, if I could read Japanese, I would understand why that one there has red eyes. I know that when he gets all super fired up in the show, his eyes turn red. Um, maybe, maybe that's a rare one. sure I'm glad I didn't get it with red eyes though because it looks a lot cooler with his normal colored eyes what do you think Thor you hot okay daddy will turn the air back on in a second okay so now let's show the beastie so he stands 12 inches tall and his little antennas bump it up to 13 inches but to the top of his head is 12 look at his cool bug segmented eyes Sort of like a smoky colored lenses. His grasshopper like face. I really ended up liking this show a lot. This Common Rider Black Sun. I um, tracked it down on Blu ray, so I have the whole little mini series on blu-ray um i really i really really dig the uh look of this common rider um as you guys know i'm a giant fan of the guyver and i i love that sort of biomechanical living costume sort of look on things um, I like the normal common Rider. You know, I like, I like how they're cyborgs and they look very, uh, mechanical. Um, but I really did like the more sort of biological, um, spin on this series. Like, they look like actual bugs. Not just a guy, you know, that dons the armor. Uh, my favorite common Rider show, or um, my favorite common Rider, he only got one movie, is that Shin common Rider. And um, I'm kind of thinking they may be changing his name shortly because of the new... Shin Kamen Rider movie coming out. So they may, you know, change his name to something different. Um, so when I'm talking about Shin Kamen Rider, I'm talking about him. Um, this is my favorite look for any Kamen Rider because it's more of a 
you know, he's biological looking. He's a big bug monster. And um, I've showed you this. I've, I've showed you this figure um, before in the other um, Common Rider videos I've done, which are on the channel in, if you're interested in him. But the point I'm trying to make is that I like that more biological look to them, like they're s sort of a, a living, breathing, big bug monster. And that's kind of what Common Rider Black Sun has going on. Um, he's still a cyborg, yes, but the buggy elements seem to be more upfront than the robotic elements, if you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> Did any of you guys watch this show? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still on Prime if you guys want to watch it. Um, like I said, I liked it so much. I tracked down a, um, one of those Chinese bootleg, um, Blu-rays that had the entire series on two discs. Such a cool looking character. Okay. So that's the new one today. And yeah, I really, really like this show. <laughs> so let me show you guys the little collection I've got now. This is one of the Bondi movie monster figures. One of those little, you know, six inch vinyl versions. This is the SH Figure Arts and I showed this guy off in his own video too. I believe each one of these figures that I'm showing you guys has its own video on the channel. This is a really cool action figure, which this figure is still available on Amazon of all places. I think he's like 65 bucks, um, which is a lot less than what I paid for him. And then the last one, um, this is Common Rider Black Sun in his uh, sort of first form. Um, this is actually my favorite look for him. I wish that they would make either a SH Figure Arts version of this piece or a larger jumbo sized version of this piece. But this is his Kaijin look. So he's more... He's even more monstrous and buggy looking than his final, you know, form. His face and his head look very um, locust-like or grasshopper-like. Yeah, this was my favorite look of him in the show. It's the most monstrous, the most bug-like. But then he, um, you know, he powers up and gets that sort of streamlined armored look, which is awesome too. Obviously I like it. I own enough of him, but um, it would be cool if we could get this bug version. It doesn't want to stand up on this base that I have him on. I don't think the base is even.
So if you're interested in getting this, I got mine from Ami Ami. Um, it's like a $70 figure. Um, you know, and then you get it shipped over here. So he's about a hundred bucks by the time he gets over here. Nobody stateside had him. You know, Big Bad Toy Store didn't have him. And Hobby Link Japan was just as much as Ami Ami. So I wanted him and I, I had to bite the bullet and just get him. But I'm super happy that I got him. I'm, I think my Common Rider Black Sun collection, I think this is going to be it. Or, or, you know, you know what? I do have one more coming. I have the, uh, the Shoto figure coming with his, um, battle hopper with his motorcycle. Um, and then I think that's going to be it. So we have the, these, these two small um, Bondi movie monster sized figures. We've got the large jumbo sized one and then we've got the SH figure arts and like I said next up is uh, the Shoto figure and then I think that's it. But yeah I really liked the show obviously and I really love this design. I think he's a super cool looking monster superhero a really cool um cybernetic grasshopper if you guys have not checked out the show you, you should check it out it's it's really cool it's really fun um like i've said in the past i'm more of an old school fan when it comes to ultraman and common rider i like the older stuff better I'm not really a fan of the, the new stuff, um, but I gave this one a chance and I really liked it a lot. So I can't say I hate all the new Kamen Rider stuff because I definitely love this one. Um, I am a fan of that of the whole like new films that are sort of, you know, retro looking like Shin Ultraman and, you know, I'm looking forward to the Shin Kamen Rider. So I, I like the newer stuff when it takes a look back and it's emulating the, the old school stuff. That's cool. But generally I'm not a big fan of the modern Common Rider stuff, with, which is just a bunch of pretty boys. Um, you know, none, none of the heroes really seem that masculine. Um, they all seem super effeminate. Um, you know, the dudes are all in lip gloss. <laughs> Fucking, um, I don't know. It's not like um, Takashi Hongo. You know, it's, it's not like, it doesn't scream like cool old school Kamen Rider to me. So I just don't, I just don't fuck with it. And the same with modern Ultraman stuff too. It's, it's just... It's not for me. Um, I like my heroes to be a little stronger, a little more capable, a little more um, man of action instead of, um, you know, like he's one of the cheerleaders from the sidelines that just decided to suit up. I'm not a fan of that. But anyway. <coughs> I hope you guys liked taking a look at the jumbo sized 1 6 scaled Common Rider Black Sun along with all his little brothers. I've got some more cool stuff to show you guys this weekend. Right now I can hear Thor panting in the background so I gotta go turn the AC back on. See, Thor, Thor. Okay, okay. We'll start watching movies in a minute. Tonight, we are going to have a double feature of 
werewolves on wheels and um, squirm the uh, <laughs> killer worm movie so werewolves on wheels and squirm all right my friends I'll talk to you in a little while take it easy